guys welcome back to my channel this is Pashpika the channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person as an artist in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a force to design in the Canva and then actually exporting out the Canva file that you have made the design and then importing into the Zazzle designer tool and how to make an editable template in Zazzle by importing the Canva I'm going to show you everything step by step procedure and also going to share some of the tips along the road that were really going to help you. So without further ado, let's get started with our before go park. Consider clicking the like button, guys. I do really appreciate that. If you want more such video, consider subscribing at the bell icon. Whenever I'm going to upload new videos, you're going to get notified about it. Also, we have a lot of free resources to help you make more money. The links are in the description box below. You can very well grab it out. You can grab the Zazzle workbook planner that will going to help you getting started with the Zazzle. Or even if you are in a Zazzle looking forward to make more money, it will going to help you. It's entirely based on my experience and knowledge so far. It's a PDF download, which you can very well grab it. It will going to help you determine your ideal client, your niche, your keywords, your promotions. Everything is there. The link is in the description box below. Make sure you grab it out if you're looking forward to one without further ado i'm gonna dive into my laptop and the process of the tutorials begin hey guys currently we are in the canva you can see i have chosen the file size of 2000 by 2000 pixels now i'm gonna be using some of the graphics and some of these stuffs from the canva and then we will going to export it as as a jpeg file format or png whatever file format and then we are going to transferring into the zazzle design the tool and i'm gonna show you the exact process as diving so here i am that's why I can go see some of the graphics from the Canva. You can very well expo import your own graphics, your own pictures from the upload option. Now, preferably, I rarely use Canva graphics for my print on demand business. I rarely use because most of the graphics I create by myself only. And I use them because I'm an artist, so I create all the graphics by myself mostly and then use for my print on demand. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use the Canva graphics. I'm gonna go over to the option, the elements. And we're going to import some flower or uh, floral background. Let's take a look at that. I have a bunch of the floral backgrounds. Now, you can have a background as well or you can have a single graphic file as well. It all depends on you, okay? So, preferably, I'm going to use this particular picture over here of the flower. And then, or either, uh, and then I'm going to be actually increasing its size so that it fits the entire canvas. Uh, you can do the way you want over here. You can... Either keep it as a small or either keep it as a large. And you can something I really want to tell you guys, never ever use the Canva text or fonts for making your Zazzle products because Canva text, like if you're using a Canva fonts and you are writing some beautiful text over here, maybe a thank you, uh, maybe you add your logo, maybe a happy birthday, Merry Christmas or something like that you're writing in your backgrounds. And when you're going to export this particular file from the Canva and we're going to import it into the Zazzle, you won't be able to add it that text okay i'm gonna show you what i really mean by that i'm like in one i'm gonna show you i'm gonna add some text to this particular background and we're going to export and import into the uh, zazzle and another one i'm not gonna keep any text i'm gonna have it without text and then i'm gonna show you the difference between these two what i really mean by that okay so we have this particular uh, background so in one i'm gonna be taking a text so i'm gonna be writing an ad in the heading and probably i'm gonna write something over here maybe a happy birthday like you can have the custom text over here depending on whatever you want to write now this is just for the sake of the tutorial purpose so i'm gonna keep it simple of course you can be a fancy if you want to have it now this is very simple okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just export it out now you can have a png file or jpeg file okay keep in mind the Zazzle actually accept the two file formats, the PNG and JPEG. They do also uh, allow you to import SVG file formats, but for the SVG file formats, you have to use the Canva Pro version. I think it's not there in the free version. Again, I could be wrong. I never ever use the SVG file format option in the Canva, so I'm not sure. But still, yeah, SVG is in the uh, Pro version. Like if you want to have an SVG file format, you need to have a Canva Pro version. Since we are using the Canva free version, and I think that for using the Canva graphics, you don't really need a Canva Pro version unless you are really into that and yeah and so i'm gonna import it uh, i'm gonna export it as a jpeg file format and i'm gonna click over to the download 
And so our file is downloaded, okay? It has been downloaded. Now, this is the one file in which I uh, have the text. Now, I'm gonna have another file that will going to export it as a JPEG file format without the text, and I'm gonna show you the difference, what I was really mean by that. So I'm gonna remove the text over here, and I'm gonna keep this picture as it is without the text. And again, I'm gonna be downloading it as, and I'm gonna keep it as a JPEG and click over to the download boom it's about to download it will going to finish downloading okay now i'm gonna go over to the zazzle you can very well sign up for your account now this is a dummy account or created for the sake of the tutorials for zazzle tutorials so this is a dummy account so here we are i'm gonna quickly take a new product and i'm gonna actually import the uh the canva file that we have made so i'm gonna go over to the create new product option okay I have already made a tutorial talking about the Zazzle complete step-by-step -step process setting up the shop uploading your Ford's product everything make sure you grab that make sure you check out that particular video if you are completely new to the Zazzle it will really going to help you I'm gonna leave that in the cut section above anyway guys now you can pick up any product you want to pick up I'm gonna probably pick up something which is more easy to make right now for the sake of this tutorial let's take example the stickers because stickers is one of the most common print on demand product and sells so well. I'm gonna take a classic round sticker. Click over to the add image because we are going to add the image that we have made in the Canva. So what you have to do to uh, import any kind of uh, file, image, JPEG or PNG into your Zazzle designer tool for using for creating a Zazzle product, you need to go over to the option that is the my files it's already been selected now you can upload it from your phone if you look like to or you can quickly go over to the option the upload images and it will going to directly go to the browser window or the window laptop or pc whatever you are using so i'm going to click over to this uh, upload images are the two images i'm just gonna click open so our both of the files are uploaded right now and they have pretty much uploaded i'm just gonna delete this because okay okay so in this i'm gonna keep the file which is having the text and i'm gonna show you the difference so i'm gonna click over to this image and you can see this image is coming over here and i can drag it the way i want to to cover the circle of my sticker whatever you want to do now since this image we actually bring it from the canva and it has a text the happy birthday i use the canva text canva fonts for writing this happy birthday now i can't add it these text you want your text to be edited or your uh, text to be customizable by a customer please don't use the text tool or canva text font tool for creating a graphic for the zazzle product because this text is not at all editable you can see it's an image it's not a text i can't add it in. the customer can directly remove the entire picture from here and then they can add their own picture but they can't add it this particular uh, this particular text that is the happy birthday this zazzle product are kind of like an ad table product it's a very very different from the other print on demand websites and i have in, made an entire video talking about the difference between the uh, print on demand websites of all and the zazzle i'm gonna leave that video in the cast section above make sure you check it out but zazzle the beauty of the zazzle is that it allows its customer to use every product's design as an ad table the people can add their own picture that they can add it the text they can do a lot of the stuff with the designs and then they can purchase it so if you don't want your text to be editable then preferably go by that but if you want your text to be editable by a customer don't make this mistake so i'm going to just delete this file and i'm going to bring the file over here the image over the which doesn't contain the text so this was the one which doesn't contain the text and now if i want to add a happy birthday i'm going to go over to the text option i can click over to the add text so now i'm going to be writing happy birthday i'm gonna bring it on the next page and click ok so you can see now it's there happy birthday fine and now customers can very well added this picture the way they want to and i can change its color and i can make it as a template object like i'm gonna just go down and i'm gonna click over here make this as a template object and people can write their own text and when I'm gonna click over to the done option you can see they are getting the personalized option over here the personalized option and they can very well edit this particular text 
instead of happy birthday they can write anything or they can go to the edit using design tool and can they can change the entire color or font of this particular font so this is the difference between having a text with your image or having not a text without an image and i have also shown you how you can directly import the canva files or the files that you have made in the canva in your zazzle designer tool i've shown you i'm going to help you getting a clear understanding on how to import a file from canva into the zazzle for creating a zazzle product and if you find this video useful let me know what you think in the comment section below have you ever used any of the canva designs or pictures for creating a zazzle product I would really love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I'll gonna see you in the next video with an amazing new content. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.